I, I thank the gentleman. I just have a question for Mr. Silver. If, if you're the, the, the smartest, most qualified guy, as, as Mr. Uh, Kucinich alleges, then why did you why did you approve the loan guarantee? Why did the Department of Energy approve this loan guarantee to abound solar? When Fitch did two reports, which were both very negative. Fitch's first report set a dismal B credit rating and warned the Department of Energy that the product had only a 45 percent chance of recovery. So Fitch, even before, you can, you can talk about what happened in China, I get that, but Fitch told you guys, hey, this has got a less than 50 percent chance of making, this is a bad risk. But you guys said, oh, it's all right. We're using taxpayer money. We can, we can, we can do that. Thank you for the question, Congressman, because I think it's an important one and it gets to the, the essence of what we're doing here today. Uh, I'm going to give you my best recollections because, as, a, as you know, not being at the Department, I don't have access to the, the underlying data. But what I can tell you. No, 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 no. This was when you were there. This is when you made the decision. I don't have access to it to refresh my memory. What I can say is that the program itself was intended to support clean energy technologies at commercial scale and abound fit that model. Uh, it was a major opportunity uh, to reduce costs in solar manufacturing. The program met, uh, the, the, uh, the application met the program criteria and goals. And as I recall the structuring, uh, it, it uh, was uh, uh, very uh, aggressive in, in protecting the U.S. taxpayer. The solar panel prices at the time had fallen, but even then the project worked. It's the second year of the project. No, 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 no. Like Fitch it. gave you another report. Right. The second report said Fitch stated that the cost of the project for taxpayers had become significantly more expensive. And yet the estimated efficiency of the panels, some of the first panels you put in didn't even work. The estimated efficiency of the panels has de decreased significantly. So the cost went up, the quality went down in the second report, and you still said, let's give them taxpayer money. I, I, and here's the interesting thing. Everything Fitch said came true. So if you're going to have a credit report come to you, I mean, we just, got, we just heard that you're the smartest guy in the world in this area. So what I want to know is, why didn't you, if you're the smartest guy in the world, why didn't you listen to Fitch? two reports what they said, which absolutely bared out, became the, the fact, and you add in Beacon Power and Slender, which have both gone bankrupt, and my guess is there are more coming. What figures? Do, do you all pay attention to Fitch? Because, I mean, it, we always come back to this point in these hearings. Did you give the loan guarantee because political connections persuaded you to do it, or did you give it based on the merit, and that's certainly not there. So it's either you did it for your buddies or you were incompetent and said, we're not going to pay attention to what Fitch says, even though it all came true, and we're just going to give the money anyway. It's got to be one or the other because there's no other conclusion you can reach. Uh, well, Congressman, I'm, <clears throat> I'm not the smartest guy in, in the room, um, but I'm also not incompetent. So I guess I'll answer the question by saying that we did market analyses, we did financial analyses, we did technical analyses, we did legal analyses, we did regulatory analyses. And Fitch didn't do that? Uh, well, actually, we have more, more resources on this project, to be candid, than, than Fitch does. But no, no, no. But they, you, have, you got more resources than they were right and you were wrong? There's no right and wrong in, uh, in an assessment of what out-year uh, production prices for solar panels are going to look like. We worked with the data from When the Fitch National says that costs are going up, I mean, this is before you give the final guarantee. Right. And it's also costs true. Costs are going up and the quality is going down. The first report, we were skeptical. Now we're telling you, hey, it's going to cost more, and this is not as good as we thought. You might want to think about this. And you guys said, nope, $400 million guarantee, $70 million out the door, loss to the taxpayer. We, we obviously incorporated the data from Fitch into the analysis. Uh, I don't have it in front of me and haven't had a chance to review it. But we well, my friend, do you 